First quarterfinal of the day went to the main Black Bears. They knocked off UNH 58-47 in a 2-7 matchup. The Black Bears led by Siggy Koitzer at 23 points, Liz Wood at 13 points and 10 rebounds. Eric Freed, Kim Adams back with you here courtside at the Event Center. And in that first quarterfinal game, UNH gave Maine a pretty good fight, but the Black Bears put it away in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you have to credit UNH, especially Elizabeth Belanger in her final game as a Wildcat, left everything out there. But at the end of the day, Maine's defense and then their weapons on offense, especially Siggy Koitzer, proved to be a bit too much. Koitzer with 23 points. She had 17 in the first half when Maine established themselves. And every time UNH would try to crawl back, Siggy made a big shot. She always delivers that blow. We see her score in a variety of ways that time. Getting through two defenders to the basket, you see her show some range. There's really not much that she can't do. Offensively, she loves this little backdoor cut, catches the defense off guard. Had to fix the ponytail a little bit after that one. I hate when that happens. <laughs> 58-47 the final, the win for Maine. They will take on the Stony Brook Seawolves. Stony Brook knocked off Hartford 60-42. to Hartford made a little run in the second half, but this was a game that Stony Brook controlled from the start, and they played a lot better than they had in the final couple weeks of the regular season. They really looked like a new team. They looked tremendous. They just came out so strong. They were very sharp on both ends of the floor. You could tell they executed their scout and their game plan, and it helped that they had Brittany Snow, another senior, trying to see another day, and she completely carried the Stony Brook team. 20 points for Brittany Snow, and she was at her best in the second half. She had seven points in the first half, 13 in the second half. The senior second-team all-conference selection was was on target, 9 of 12 from the field. She is just so tough inside. You see her breakthrough contact this time coming off the screen and roll, just always aware, always moving on the floor. She showed a little bit of range as well, this time taking it off the dribble. She was just tremendous today. Hartford did not have an answer for her. So Maine will take on Stony Brook in one semifinal. The other semifinal still to be set on Saturday night at the Event Center. Albany will take on Vermont Binghamton will take on UMBC, the championship game coming up Friday evening on the home floor, the highest remaining seed. That's the story from now from the Event Center.